We have something a little different this evening. Alan has a story about a golf club, not the kind you belong to, the kind you swing. That's right, a golf club named Willie, Shotgun Willie. Eight years ago, I was on an Eastern Oregon road trip with the in-laws, Steens Mountain, the Alvord Desert, the Round Barn. We stopped one day to shoot nine holes at the lush Valley Golf Club in Hines. And in my rental set, there was Shotgun Willie, the doctor of distance, jumbo weapon. Despite all that colorful boasting, Willie did me no favors that day and I left him behind. But I didn't forget him. I mean, how could I? Over the years, through the snowy winters and long, hot Eastern Oregon summers, I'd wonder occasionally about the fate of Shotgun Willie. A few years later, on another drive into Sage Brushestan, I stopped by Valley GC again on a whim. And in a maintenance shed by the first tee, there he was, just another old, forgotten club in a barrel. You know, it just didn't seem right. I mean, we're talking about the doctor of distance, after all. So I offered to buy Willie and give him a better home. But the nice lady behind the counter said she just worked there, really didn't have the authority to do anything as audacious as sell a used golf club to a stranger. So I left her my name and number, asked her to call if anything changed. Not expecting much, I started researching Shotgun Willie because... Well, why not? I found it's the title track of a 1973 Willie Nelson album. And it's the name of a notorious Denver area strip club, now closed and bankrupt. I did find this set of cousins auctioned online for the Broward County, Florida First Tee program. So no, not much background filling in. And then I got the call from Valley GC. Shotgun Willie was mine. That meant another trek to Heinz, where I named my price and walked off with the jumbo weapon for $3. Research resumed. Close observation, just looking at the World Tour Maximum Game Improvement graphite shaft with the low torque and the lifetime warranty, showed me Willie was birthed by Lion USA, which turns out to be Lion Golf, a Central Oregon club maker from 1989 until owner Kim Cole pulled the plug in 2007. Kim has passed on, but I did find his wife Eileen just a few miles from our studio, Shotgun Willie's mom, if you will. She was delightful, but not the least bit interested in commenting when I knocked on her door carrying her graphite-shafted metal-headed son. A small peel-and-stick label led me down another path to Stan J at an Eagle Crest address, likely the last person to own Willie. Stan died 10 years ago, but I tracked down his son in Bend, who tells me he was an avid golfer who would play anywhere with anyone as long as they kept moving. And there's a Cascade Mountain connection. Stan's ashes were scattered over the middle sister, his son says, a perfect resting place for any golfer. The mountain's other name is Hope. But ultimately, this was another no comment and another mystery. Stan's son tells me Stan was a lefty, a 180-degree bad fit for this jumbo weapon. So there my search ends, and I guess it's just Willie and me and all those ghosts now. I'll keep him right here, always in reach, and I'll let him out to play once in a while. Whenever my ailing tea game needs a prescription from the doctor of distance.